Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Let's learn outdoors. Hello, third grade friends. Here I am at the Great Pond at Blandford, and I'm looking at the water cycle. Hey, remember the water cycle? Where water changes to different states of matter and it moves around? We're kind of reviewing that now because it relates to weather. So first of all, the pond behind me, you can see, is accumulated water. This is an example of accumulation where water falls as rain or accumulates as snow or ice, and the water just kind of sits there and piles up. So this pond back here is an example of accumulation. Hey, you know what's happening on a day like this? Obviously, the ice is melting. Look along shore. It's so warm, the ice is melting and turning into liquid water. And as it does, and the sun shines on it, that water is evaporating. Remember evaporation, when water moves from a liquid state to a gas state. So there's invisible water vapor in the air behind me. It's evaporating out of this pond and it's evaporating from the snow too. Isn't that amazing? So we've got the pond is an example of accumulation. There's evaporation happening. And if you look behind me, way up in the clouds, you can see beautiful cirrus clouds today. Do you see those clouds that are way up there? They look kind of feathery and their sunlight shines through them, they're actually formed around ice crystals. Those clouds are an example of water turning back into a liquid way up there because it's cold and there's less pressure. Remember the cloud demonstration in the jar? That's an example of condensation. Say it with me, condensation. Condensation is part of the water cycle and we see it in clouds. Now, when those clouds, if those clouds get heavy with rain, like really heavy, where gravity starts pulling them down, what do you call it when water falls from the sky, either as snow, rain, hail, or sleet? Remember the word? That's right, precipitation. And friends, right now, the clouds do not look like it's going to rain. They're not dark, they're not gray, they're light, and you can see light through them. But later on this week, keep watching, we are supposed to get some precipitation. Precipitation is water falling from the sky. It can be in the form of rain. It can be in the form of snow, sleet, or hail. That's the water cycle, remember? Accumulation, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Remember those words and look at the seesaw response. I bet you, can complete that. Friends, have fun and remember, nature is awesome! Get out in the great outdoors. Accumulation, evaporation, and look at those clouds. Condensation. If those clouds get thicker and start to turn gray, we might get some precipitation in the form of rain, snow, or sleet. And that's the water cycle in a nutshell.